Hey everyone, Andy with Phantom Fishing and I've been out in the Triton. If you haven't seen the videos cleaning this thing up, uh, at the beginning it was a mess, but I've had it out a couple times this year. I don't need everything perfect to fish, but I tell you what, there's a couple things that are really bugging me and this is one of them. It's a pretty simple fix as far as I can see. I've never done it, but it looks pretty simple. It's going to make unhooking and hooking the boat up a lot easier. Check this video out. Alright, here it is. These straps, these things are a pain in the butt. They, uh, you, I mean, they just, they're ridiculous. It's, to get them tight, you gotta, you gotta tighten them down. I mean, you can see where it's kind of messed up. The, uh, the boat here, let me, let me zoom in a little bit right there. You see where it's put a couple, couple chips in the boat? And it, that's from this metal. You gotta get it pretty tight. And these are a pain in the butt, and they, they're weathering, and they're, so I'm gonna change them. I picked up the boat buckle. These are retractable tie-down system straps, 2,500 pounds, um, and it's a ratcheting, but it's a button system. You just pull it out, ratchet it down, it's good to go. So I'm gonna put this on, see how hard it is. I don't think it's that hard. All you have to do is have a place to mount them, which this trailer does. Except the angle of it, I'm not sure if that's the best angle for something like this or not. The only other way I know of is drilling into the frame and I don't know if I want to do that because I don't want to, you know, I'm sure I wouldn't damage the structure or the, the, the strength of it. But uh, the only other option besides drilling or using the existing, I guess, is welding on a whole new piece. Let's try to avoid that because I'm not a welder. Um, just gonna take this old one off. I mean, look at this. It's junk. It's junk. Um, I bought some new ones of these, but then I figured why would I wanna take these on and off and have to throw them in the truck or whatever when I can do something else. So that's my plan. That's why I grabbed the boat buckle. I don't know if there's any other versions or brands of this. I just, this was the, this was the one I decided to get. Now it does have instructions on the back and it tells you to use the existing mounting tab or drill a 7 16th hole into the trailer frame. And then it tells you about, you know, not being an idiot and just, you know, making sure where you're drilling the hole and call the manufacturer if you need to. But, the way they have that mounted is a little different than the way this one's going to be mounted, so I'm just not 100% sure if this is going to work with the existing mounts on this Triton V176 Magnum trailer. So besides the actual buckles, looks like they got the mounting, mounting bolts inside this piece, so don't throw that piece away. It's pretty uh, simple, it's got the bolt, the nut, and the washer. It looks like a lock washer for each side. So that's all you got. And the boat buckle. So I guess it's going to mount somewhat like this, which I'm going to want it to be at that angle. And uh, yeah, that should work. So they have a hole right here. I'm just going to put it through that hole. I'm going to lift this up, drop that in. So. Then I'm going to put the washer on the back of that. And then put the nut. So I got 11, 11 and 16 wrench and a 5 8 socket. And I'm just going to tighten it. Get it tighten down if you had a deep socket or something to put on there it'd be better so there you go the boat buckles on I appreciate you watching stay tuned there's some a couple other things including a 
uh, recessed trolling motor tray because I got a I'm sick of standing there like Captain Morgan and also I need to illuminate the deck of this boat because I fish a lot of times and we go into the dark and in fishing night tournaments so I got to figure out a way to do that 